Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man and welcome to Football Manager 2015. It's episode 15 and most probably going to be the last episode of DC United. I'm just wondering guys if I can absolutely rattle through the last uh, six, five games? Yeah, five games that I've got and then we can come back next week, start afresh with a brand new series for you guys. I think that would be absolutely fantastic. So, we've got San Jose. I mean, we've got a load of injuries. <laughs> we've got a really bad load of injuries, and we're not going to get very far with absolutely anything, but I'm still going to try. We've got San Jose in the US Cup final first. Can we get our first piece of silverware? Well, there we are, guys. <laughs> I still can't pick a full team I've got so many people injured it's gonna be ridiculous because at the end of this game I'm gonna have so many people uh, injured my morale is way down everything is just really goddamn bad at the moment and uh, there's nothing I can do about it there is absolutely nothing I can do about it I mean if I was gonna be staying at DC United I would probably go dip into the Academy bring some players up and what have you just to you know pack the uh, oops, sorry I've just like blown down the microphone there uh, just to pack the team out a little bit more so I can have a little bit more players to be able to take on the amount of condition and then just put them down into the reserves when I need to uh, however there's absolutely no point in me doing that. So, I'm just going to keep things <clears throat> as they are. Somebody did mention in a previous episode that there was um, a, a mod on the Football Manager, uh, on the uh, Steam Workshop, should I say, to uh, actually give less injuries. And for my next series, I definitely want to get that because I think, and it's not just me, I've seen playthroughs on YouTube, I have known people play this game who've all turned around and said, there is way too many uh, injuries in this game. So I really want to take that and see how it works. If it ends up being like no injuries at all, then it's going to be terrible. But I really want to do my next series not hampered by so many goddamn injuries. So anyways... This is the team that's going to be facing off against San Jose in the US Cup Final. Okay, we are kicking off against San Jose. And look, Irma Gerd is actually forward for San Jose. And we remember what he did against us last time. But um, Eddie Johnson we've put out there. Not sure why. Probably because... Oh, my God. Chris Pontius has picked up a knock. What a surprise. And it is a free kick. Bernard Dundas. And I'll wax it up the field, but it's only going to go as far as the San Jose goalkeeper, Westberg, who picks it up. Is that the key highlight there? That was ledge. That was that was such a ledge shot. Westberg whacks it up the field there towards Irma... No, it's not Irma Good, actually, is it? To Bill Hamid. They're just playing ping pong with each of the guys. They're just playing that uh, that two-player game where you, you pong this ball to each other, whatever it's called. It's called pong, isn't it? It's called pong. Irma Good! It's Irma Gerda. And uh, it's going through. But there's Burnbaum. That is a lovely challenge. Davy Arnaud in towards Eddie Johnson. The worst player on the pitch, most definitely. In towards Robinson, the young guy. Rolf. Nice ball through towards Martin. And that is another recruit from the DC United Academy who puts it in the back of the net. I cannot quite believe that we're 1-0 ahead. This is crazy, guys. I can't even remember the last time I friggin' scored. And there is Martin. Wax it in the back of the net. What a finish. It is half time. And would you look at it, guys. Yalan Robinson is now also injured as well. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. I mean, I could bring some more players on. And to be fair, I probably should. Um, but the only thing is, I don't have players who can play in those. Alessio Quintinilla uh, can go there. But he's really not that, that fit. But he's going to have to come on. Because Chris Pontius is dying over there. Um, and also, midfield right and left. I've got no other right back to put on. Alan Robinson's going to have to come off for copy or pair. And really, I don't want to have to do that, but that's the only option I've got. Ah, uh, yeah, you can take the second half. Innocent Irma Gerda. Uh, make the changes. Pintos has got the ball. Whips it up front. But Martin, the goal scorer, has got it. Quintanilla. Rolf, back to Quintanilla. Nice ball in, but that's really terrible, actually. And that's going to class as a key highlight, really? Please tell me that wasn't the key highlight. Westberg whacks it up the field there. Irma Gerd! Oh, my God. oh, Bill Hamid with a wonderful serve. Stevenson with a shot, and Bill Hamid's there again. Get in, Bill Hamid. You had a shocking game in the last one, but that's much better. 
It's going to be a free kick. Salinas whips it in towards somebody. I don't know. I can't read that fast. And there's Eddie Johnson. Oh, the crappiest player in frigging MLS at the moment, that guy. I'll tell you something. Francis with the ball. Win. Is that Marvel win? Oh, ball towards him. Good. Oh, and he tr oh, I thought that was in there. I was going to say he slid it underneath the goalkeeper, but unfortunately it's gone wide of the post. It's going to be a corner late in the game. Salinas whips it in. Oh, oh, and it's off the bar. Oh, my God. Come on, keep with it, you DC United. It's going to be another corner with two minutes left to go. Salinas whips it in. Perazzi, oh, it's cleared. Stevenson picks up the ball. Back towards Pintos. Oh, and the shot's gone absolutely miles over. Come on, DC United, you could do this. <coughs> Chris Rolfe whips in the ball. Is it going to be? Come on, blow the whistle, baby. Eddie Johnson, the world's crappiest player. It's Caval. Surely, come on now, ref. Blow that whistle. Stevenson, maybe one last attack for San Jose. Caval towards Nyasi. Ball forwards towards uh, Jamison. Don't foul him there. Ball in. Bill Hamid's got it. But it's full time. DC United have won the US Cup. So at least, guys, I haven't ended this playthrough on an on a, on a low. I, 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 can now, I can now hold my head up high. Oh, yes, up is a word. I can hold my head up high and say that I've won the US Cup. Our ledge is that. That is absolutely fantastic. Looking extremely delighted. And so they should. Let's look at the uh, the things there. Oh, look at this, guys. 12 shots, 5 on target. But we got the most decisive one. And the one that ended up in the back of the net. The young man, Colin Martin, who uh, is only 19 years of age, brought up from the DC United Academy. And, uh, well, st the difference between myself and San Jose today... Hey, got the Chivo for Cup Glory. Get in. Unfortunately, guys, it means that we're going into the next game against Sporting Kansas City quite fucked, to be honest. They've all literally just got over the hangover from the day before of winning the Cup, and now we're going to get shoved straight back into it with Sporting Kansas City, and still not enough players. There's some unregistered players. This guy, Miguel Aguirre, is unregistered at the moment. Um... Also, oh, most of these are unregistered because they're injured. Uh, I've just got to the stage, though, when they, when they get injured that I'm not even going to put them on the disabled list. I'm just like, oh, all right, brilliant. So you're, un uh, so you're injured. Great. But we're now two players behind. We've got five uh, on the bench. We're <laughs> calling Martin there, 77%. My goodness gracious me. Okay, let's go for it. And here we go, kicking off the game against Sporting Kansas. Marin. For Sporting Kansas, whipping the ball forwards. Boswell gets rid, but it comes back in. Claros. Clarice. Fellharbor. Nemet. Savage gets... Oh, my God, that was a great bit of play there from Savage. Bill Hamid left standing, but it hits at the post. Robinson with the throw-in for DC United. Still holding on to a nil-nil. <laughs> Espinosa. Fellharbor. Clarice. Zuse. Nice ball forwards towards Nemet. Nemet takes him around his man. This is a nice bit of play, but Bill Hamid can't grab it. Oh, that was off the line for Bill Hamid, that rebound there. Good stuff. Still nil-nil. And it's going to be a free kick whipped in by Fellhaber. Oh, and this save was not good enough. Pushed onto the bar, and it just dropped for Jalil Anibaba. What a name. Jalil Anibaba gets the goal for Sporting Kansas. Fellhaber's nice, great ball in. Savage, lovely header. Keeper saves. No, he doesn't actually. It just hits the bar and comes back to Ali Baba. Ali Baba. Oh my god. And it's half time, guys. The current score is 1 0. It doesn't look like we can come back into this at all, guys. I have to say. I'm going to make a slight substitution there. Eddie Johnson is crap. So we're going to take him off for Gyro Arietta. Um, the thing is, guys, if we get too far behind the playoffs, I don't think that there's any point in actually carrying on with this playthrough. I have to say. I will see what kind of points tally we're at and then 
uh, try to see if we can come back into it. If we can't come back into it and we can't make the playoffs and I'm going to be leaving DC United at the end of the season, there's literally no point in carrying on from there and I'm not going to bore you guys with games that really don't matter. So what I will do is if I get too far behind is say, you know what, that's going to be the end of the series there and then we'll come back with a brand new challenge and it's going to be a great, fantastic challenge, guys. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm really looking forward to it. And this is the first time in a while that I've been really looking forward to a Football Manager 2015 playthrough. Um, I, I, you know, I'm going to discuss it more in a video at a later date, probably when I actually start the series, and just tell you guys what's going to be going on here. Oh, that's a nice ball. Rolf! Oh, Rolf with a good chance there, but skies it. Devian now helps it on, but it's going to go back to the goalkeeper, Marin. Sporting Kansas all over me at the moment. We've got one shot on target. That reminds me, actually. Let me much lower the tempo, uh, even though we're having nowhere near enough possession to lower the tempo of the match. But Zusi puts the ball forward. Nagamura out towards the wing. Absolutely loads of space for Espinosa to whip one in. Oh, Nemet. Goal at his mercy there. Just puts it wide. It's going to be a corner. Kemp whips it in. And it's cleared. Only as far as Robinson. Ball out towards Ross Kemp again. Pontius, oh nice save, the rebound, and it's just another save, a really good quick double save from the goalkeeper there, keeps uh, Sporting Kansas 1-0 ahead, and they could even counter here actually with Campos, oh no he's just running out, never mind, Rolf, late on, whips the ball into the box but it's cleared, only as far as Ross Kemp once again, Robinson, can we find an equaliser maybe from this? And out, Robinson, I don't think so, I think this is literally it guys. Pontius with a nice ball in though, it nearly fell for Arietta, but it was a lovely clearance from the uh, the, the, uh, the Sporting Kansas guy, centre back there. Dwyer, Zussi, oh nice ball fed in there, I think he might have been offside if he'd have kept on running. Bill Hamid with a save, but I think the uh, whistle will be blown after this goal kick is taken. Is it? Is it going to be blown? There it is. There's the full-time whistle, guys. Another loss in the MLS, I am afraid to say. I am going to be giving them an overall team talk. Let's have a look. Nine shots, five on target. This time they had less shots on target. They were the one to get the one and only goal. Pretty fortuitous to come off the, uh, off the crossbar there and then just fall to the guy. But what can you do? What can you do, guys? We have... Let me go and leave the match here. I think we've only got three games left. Let me take a look. Club... View fixtures. There's probably an easier way of doing it. So that's a possible nine points from that one. Let's go and take a look at uh, the uh, MLS, the Eastern Conference, because that's the one that we're in. Can I not click on that? Well, we've got nine points. So what we can get, guys, is what 44 points. We could catch Chicago, but on goal difference, it would have to go down to. And we're already minus 10, and I don't think we're going to get 20 goals in the plus within the next three games. If we take a look at it the other way, we, it, they would be on 16 points. So we literally, we would be able to get to sixth at best if we wanted to. Either which way, it's not going to be what we want and it's not going to be in that, uh, that fateful zone right there. They've still got a game in hand as well, guys. And again, like I said, we've got three games to bring back 10 goals. That'll be crazy. Let me just go forwards a little bit so that uh, Chicago can play their game and then we'll see um, whether or not where are, are, are Chicago playing today? no they're not playing today but that's fine I see Dallas drew against Vancouver Houston beat New York anything else? Chicago when are you playing? today Chicago versus Montreal Impact equal 10th no hang on a minute that's not right Let's see what the score is going to be. Well, it's three all, so we cannot literally catch them at all now. That is literally it. Portland secure the playoff spot. Team secure Colorado and Real Salt Lake. Colorado have drawn three of their last five home games. We've done really, really bad. <laughs> We've done really, really bad uh, coming into the close season. We had a really good stage. I mean, look at this, guys. We did so well. And then it just went to shit, and I have no idea why. But anyway, guys, that is literally... Oh, mind you, Chicago there. No, we've literally, we can't get back into this. We literally cannot get back into this. They are 10 points ahead with 9 points remaining. We literally 
cannot get back into this. All we can get to is sixth place. There is no point in carrying on. There literally is no point in carrying on. New York are there with 24 points, so we would be ahead of them. We're going to stick between 8th and 6th. That is our possible finish, and I believe we can find that out by having a look over here somewhere. Where is it? It says possible finish somewhere. I can't remember where I believe find it now. All of this stuff. Is it on me? On my personal? No? I can't remember where to find it. Oh, that's really annoying. There's a little bit which tells you like where you can actually finish. And I can't seem to find it, guys. Is it in here? Possible fin- No, I have no idea where the hell it is. <laughs> I have no idea where the hell it is. But anyway, guys, that is literally going to be it today. I was expecting or I was hoping to get a bumper episode in there, but we've gone ahead and lost our next game, and uh, Chicago won their game, so there's literally no point in carrying on, guys. It is going to be a brand new series. It's going to be a brand new start. And I think that you guys are going to love it. You've loved my previous FMs where I've done like Grimsby Borough, Oxenope Recreation and stuff like that. It's going to be slightly like that, but it's going to be different, guys. And it's going to be fantastic. And I do hope that you're going to be joining me for that new Football Manager series. That's going to be starting in a couple of days. If you've enjoyed this series, and I really don't know why or how, but we did win the final of the US Cup. At least that's something. But if you did enjoy it, please go ahead and leave a like, guys. Leave a little comment as well telling me what your favorite parts maybe of this series has been maybe who your favorite person of this particular series has been it's only been a short one but uh, i'm hoping the next one is going to be slightly longer at least until football manager 2016 comes out and then uh, i'll be looking forward to that anyways guys i will see you in the next series until then i've been the tough man as always stay safe